Good evening, please. Ah, Ranjit, you're late. I thought you weren't coming. You've missed the first half of the session. A thousand apologies, but I'm falling asleep on the underground pew. Oh. I'm going right past my getting off stop and not waking up until Cocky Foster's. Cocky Foster's. <laughs> Perhaps you're working too hard. I am working three times too hard. What do you mean? Well, my proper job is working on the underground railway tube, and I'm working the early morning shaft. <laughs> you mean shift? That is correct. I am working from 6 o'clock morning time until 2 o'clock afternoon time. Then I'm doing other job for garage, pumping the petrol until 6 o'clock evening time. Well, even for allowing for the time you spend here, you could still have eight hours sleep. Oh, no. When I'm leaving here, I'm working in public house until after the midnight. I think you're overdoing it, Ranjit. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. This Jack? Is he having three jobs also? <laughs> no, it's just a saying. Look, why are you working so hard? I'm saving up for the airplane. Ah, you want to buy an airplane? No, no. Just a ticket to Punjab. Ah, wait. Are you thinking of leaving us, Ranji? Only for one week. My mother is being 60 years old this week. So, I'm giving her the big surprise of myself. <laughs> I am now having the money for the airplane ticket. 230 English pounds. It's a lot of money to carry around, Ranjit. You could be mugged on your way home. <gasps> you are speaking absolute wisdom. Yeah. Here, you keep for me. Me? Most certainly. Then if I am being mugged, the mugger man will not find money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too big a responsibility. Please, you keep for me until tomorrow. Then I buy ticket. Oh, very well. All right. Thousand thank yous. Would you care to go for a drink, Miss Cobb? No, thank you, Mr. Brown. I want to get to the post office in time to catch the last post. Ah. Oh, I wonder, would you post a letter for me? Yes, certainly. Yes. Uh, that's the one. Right. Good night, then, Mr. Brown. Good night. Well, that's another day over, Sid. Yeah, worse luck. Yeah. Oh, I'm always glad to get home. You wouldn't say that if you ah. was living with my missus. <laughs> hello, hello. What's the matter? Here. Here. It's full of bees and honey. Whose it is? I know whose it is now. It, oh, <laughs> it, don't you think you ought to take it into the police station? Don't be picking dilly granite. Fine as it's keepers. Oh, Sid! <laughs> Mr. Brown. Hush! Don't you hush me. Miss Courtney, I'm in terrible trouble. Well, you certainly are. You're ten minutes late. No, no, no. Worse than that. I've lost 230 pounds that Ranjit gave me to look after. Well, how on earth did you manage to do that? Well, I've no idea. It must have fallen out of my pocket. I've looked everywhere. I went to the police station to ask if anyone had handed it in, and they just laughed. I mean, what am I going to tell Ranjit? The truth, Mr. Brown. You had better do it in private. You can use my office. I will send him to you. <laughs> I suppose the direct approach will be best. Ranjit, I have lost your money. Uh, no, no, I can't do that. It's too harsh. Better soften the blow a bit. Ranjit, come in. Uh, have a seat. Would you like a cup of tea? No, no. Ranjit, I have something to tell you. Are you sitting comfortably? Oh, no. I'm standing. <laughs> oh, uh, Ranjit, come in. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. There isn't any tea. Ah, well, I, well I'll get you one. Miss Courtney said you had something to tell me. Yes, Ranjit, I am human. Uh, and you are human, and human beings are fallible. I mean, I'm fallible and you're fallible. No, I'm Punjabi. <laughs> no, 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 what I'm trying to say, Ranjit, is... Well, I have lost your money. Did you hear me? The, the money you saved up to go and visit your mother with her, but I've, I've lost it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ranjit. Good evening. Hello, Sid. What's the matter? You look as if you lost under pound and found ten feet. There's many a true word spoken in jest. Oh, come on. Cheer up. Have a cigar. No, thanks. Can't be as bad as all that. It's worse. Well, look at me yesterday, I didn't have eight knees. Today I can have a tenner on horse and take no notice. You couldn't lend me 230 pounds, could you? No chance. Oh. That's all there was in the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> what 
envelope. The envelope I found outside of school. You see? <laughs> Talk to me. That was Ranjit's money. Have you still got it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Why didn't you hand it in? Hey, hey, wait. What are you doing? Ranjit, we found your money. Oh! <laughs> oh, praise be to the Lord. <laughs> My mother. Oh, she'll be so happy to be seeing me. <gasps> There's only 130 pounds in here. That's right. Well, where's the other hundred? Oh, there it is here. What is that? That's a betting slip. I've had under pound on Rainbow's End in the 6.15 at the night race at Windsor. <laughs> 6.15, we can still make that. Come on, everybody, quickly. Oh, so quickly. Oh, we can do it. Going on. Oh, we're just taking an early tea break um, in the betting shop. <laughs> the 6.15 at Windsor. The horses are lining up for the start. And they are off. Come on, Rainbow's Head! Rainbow Rainbow As right away, it's Ernie's boy in the lead, followed by Death Delight, Golden Wonder and Skylark. Then comes Southern Peacock and Slimline. Where is Rainbow's Head? And bringing up the rear is Rainbow's Head. <laughs> And that's the order at the bend, with Death Delight closing a little and Skylark now overtaking Golden Wonder. Southern Peacock is dropping back. And who is this coming through on the inside? Rainbow's Head? Slimline. <laughs> and as they come into the straight, it's still Ernie's boy, Death Delight, and Skylark. And here's Rainbow's Head making a run on the outside. And with four furlongs to go, it's Ernie's boy, Death Delight, and Rainbow's Head now in third place. Ernie's boy is pulling away slightly, but Rainbow's Head has overtaken him. And is challenging Somni. Two furlongs to go, and Rainbow's Rainbow's End is gaining on Ernie's boy. Down neck and neck as they come to the post, and at the finish, it's Rainbow's End. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, oh, and five to two, that's 250 quid. That's under pound for you and the rest for me. Eh? Yeah, come on, let's go draw it. <laughs> for one moment, there's a steward's inquiry. The red flag's gone up. Oh, blimey. It is a Russian horse. <laughs> Rainbow's End's been disqualified for bumping oh. and placed last. We are so losing, result, and I won't be able to be visiting my, my mother. First, oh, oh. oh poor Ranjit. He was so much looking forward to seeing his mother. He will see his mother. But, Master G, he was going to be catch plane on Saturday. How will he be get 100 pounds before then? Oh, we'll get it for him, even if we have to beg, borrow, or steal it. Yes. 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 <laughs> You want a photograph? Very cheap. Three for one pando. <laughs> buy a pretty glove for your pretty wife? No, thanks. You want to buy a glove for pretty wife? Oh, no, thanks, Duke. Where are your sandwiches from here? All made from French bread. Shushini, shushini, thank you, please. Come on, shushini. Have your fortunes told by Madame Jamila. Come on, young man. Would you like to eat your fortune told? Now, sit down there. Madame Jamila, tell this young man's fortune. Please do cross my palm with 50p. Brown. I hear you managed to raise the money for Mr. Singh's fare. Yes, he'll be at the airport now. How is he going? By plane or balloon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard about that. Yes. yes. If that caretaker hadn't been on the roof to catch my legs, heaven knows where I'd be now. <laughs> where you usually are, Mr. Brown, with your head in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, uh, Pastor. Well, firstly, may I say thank you for all your efforts yesterday to help raise the fare for Ranjit. Brown, 
This lady would have a word with you. Ah, a new pupil. Would you like to sit over there? No, sit. Look for him, Jeep. Uh, well, I'm afraid he's not here. He's gone over this weekend to visit his mother as a surprise for her birthday. Hi, Rappa. Mm. That is terrible. Why, what's the matter? I am his mother. Yes. I am his mother. <laughs> for my birthday to surprise Ranjit. You're his mother. Oh, you must have crossed. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God